Hey everyone, Andy Anderson here. It's a beautiful day here in the Rocky Mountains and I wanted to chat with you a little bit about the importance of feeling our pain. You know, this is a subject that not all of us necessarily want to hear about, right? When I say the importance of feeling our pain, you know, a lot of us might want to run and hide and, you know, shrink away from that subject because, you know, why should we feel pain? Why should we need to feel pain? Why should we want to feel pain? We shouldn't have to feel pain. You know, perhaps these are some of the questions or thoughts or something coming up for you when I say the importance of feeling our pain. Now, I just got off the phone actually with a coaching client and this came up in this coaching call talking about, you know, feeling our pain in life. So many of us run from our pain, right? We may have had a really bad breakup and we just never really dove into how it broke our heart. Or we have, may have lost a job that we really, really loved and have pushed down, have hidden the fact that it really sucked. It really hurt to lose this job that we really loved. Or any number of things in life. Any number of things can happen to us in life. Disappointments, losing people in our lives, you know, having injuries, having, you know, circumstances beyond our control happen. And, you know, we feel a lot of pain. So, you know, I'm here to just remind you today that it's important to feel our pain. And the reason it's so important to feel our pain is because if we don't allow ourselves to actually dive into that pain, sometimes we never get over whatever that situation was. So let's say you had a breakup way back when, and you never really dove into that pain. You never really felt the pain of losing that person, or say you broke up with them and you never felt that pain of how bad you felt because you really didn't want to break up with that person or whatever it was. You never felt the pain. And the fact that you never felt the pain means that you're carrying something with you that you haven't yet let go of. You're carrying something with you that might affect your future relationships, your future jobs, your future career as an entrepreneur, your future relationship with your children, whatever it is. Things that we haven't dealt with from our past, pain that we haven't been willing to feel affects our future. It affects our present moment. And if we're not willing to deal with it, it will project into the future. And we might not even be aware that it's happening, but it does. So if you're going through something right now, or if you've gone through something in the past and you haven't dealt with it, take a minute today to feel your pain and know that you know, you're not going to die because you feel your pain, right? It's not going to kill you to feel that pain. But what it is going to do is allow you to truly be with how you feel. And that's just part of being true to yourself. The more you allow yourself to truly be with how you feel, then you can let go. Then you can move forward. Then you can, you know, create that new relationship. Then you can get that new job. Then you can take new steps to being more fit and in shape. All of these things that are important to let go of before we can move forward in life. And a lot of us have never dealt with something from way, way, way back when, or maybe it was just yesterday, but a lot of us have never dealt with that. And therefore we're having trouble moving forward in our lives. So I just wanted to remind you today to feel your pain and it's okay to feel your pain. It's part of this human experience that we're all having. And you know, it's a dualistic world. There's two sides to the coin. So if we allow ourselves to feel great pain, imagine what the other side of that is right? Great joy. If we don't allow ourselves to feel what we would consider negative emotions like pain, sorrow, sadness, depression, those kinds of things, if we don't allow ourselves to feel that, then we can't actually feel the other side of that either. We can't really truly dive into the beingness and the feeling of feeling joy, of feeling happiness, of feeling passion, of feeling excitement and freedom. So allowing yourself to feel what we call those negative emotions, things that we kind of want to run away from, feel the ouch factor of our lives, the more we allow ourselves to feel that, the more we open up to the other side, the more we open up to those amazing emotions of excitement and joy and love and peace and all of those things. So just take a look at your life today. Take a look at where you've perhaps hidden or pushed down or shoved aside pain, emotion, frustration, anger, things that you haven't dealt with and allow yourself to feel that today and see what happens. 
again, I'm Andy Anderson, and I just love chatting with you. I love having these great video conversations with you, and I love hearing your comments at the end. So please scroll down and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say, answer any questions you have. If you're watching this on Facebook or social media, please share this message with others. Share it with someone who you know needs this message today because the more we spread positive energy, positive thoughts, awareness to the world, the better this world is going to be for all of us. Thanks again and I'll see you again soon.